Okay, uh, a couple weeks ago I posted a video I found of my In the Sea base from 2017, and here it is in January 2019. This is the one of the original starting areas, I've made it into my Botania area. I'll be moving Botania out to its own dome later on, but right now this is where it is. Put a pure daisy on a floating bit so I can just stick it off to the side. Got a clay conia, because this is one of the more convenient ways to make clay. Gormorellis that I can keep fed. Endoflames I can keep fed. An intropenium I can feed when I've got a bunch of uh, gunpowder and sand. I went ahead and added extra utilities to this pack because I wanted access to trash cans, but the analog crafters have been a godsend. Man of Steel, you'll notice I've replaced this with just flooring. Also, I've put travel anchors in everywhere. Down below, this used to be ocean. I made it into its own little room. It's kind of useless right now. I'm not actually doing anything down here. Used to have a tree farm. I am growing cotton down here, but honestly, I should stop it. I don't need to be growing cotton right now. Just can't really be bothered to figure out how. But that's just to make wool. And then the rest of this is to power this system, which doesn't really do much of anything besides grow cotton and power itself. Uh, I was again planning to do more things down here, just meh. Let's see, I've got my nether warp farm down here. This turns some of my excess canola into seed oil or into oil that I can, to canola oil that I can take up somewhere else to use to farm things, or to, not farm, power things. This is the other part of the starting area of the base. I've made it into my blood magic set area. Not, I haven't really started much with blood magic, but I've finally actually started doing anything at all with it. So, hey, that's cool. I made a small area for chickens, and here are the chickens chickening. Let's see. This was my original machine room. I moved my machine room somewhere else, where I had to fight the sea a lot less for expanding. I've now gotten a, a crusher and an assembler in here that I'm using to prepare stuff for whatchamacallit. The final Pam's Harvest Craft uh, hoarding quests that are in this pack. Over here I have a kitchen using cooking for blockheads, chickens. Uh, I've got a hopper hawk over here that collects anything the chickens drop. This is just excess stuff produced by my farms. Uh, a Pam's market for when I need things that I just can't get. And if we drop downstairs, the eggs go on the conveyor, come from down here onto the conveyor belt get sorted into the item router, feathers go up in the trash can, eggs go over to here, and then eventually over into here to become dirt. This also connects up to a chest in the other room where I can duck, dump excess uh, farm produce if I feel like it. This is where I first started it to produce potatoes to increase my dirt production, and I'm now using it to quick grow crops for the final Pam's Harvest Craft hoarding quests. It's not currently doing anything right now. This is where I would take those cans of canola, turn them into regular oil, and use them to power things. Right now, it's not the canola is not powering anything, it's just there as an extra add-on. This is connected up to my diesel generator downstairs. It is also powering a external heater that's underneath the um, oven. This is a dark room I use to grow mushrooms. So one of the things about undersea packs is that fishing is really, really difficult to do. So I wound up making this hole in the ground and filling it with water and then fishing. And putting in fishing water traps and fishing nets and stuff. See, this is my farm area.
Over here, I am making bees again for those final Pam's Harvest Craft hoarding scenarios because I need honey for things. Got it set up so that when I pull this lever, it will empty all of the hives into the appropriate place, whether it be pressers to press the wax or to press the honeycombs and the wax combs or these analog crafters to make me new queen bees. I do have to manually put the bees back into the hive in 110.2. The Pam's Har Harvest Craft apiaries do not have the function to be able to auto insert into them. Over here, I have fruit trees of very and other various products, as well as any livestock that's happened to randomly spawn, and also some buffalo that I deliberately spawned for Totemic. Over here, I'm again working on stuff for Pam's Harvest Craft. I need to get some wheat. I'll be right back. Actually, no, that can wait. I've got a bunch of chickens that produce eggs that my hopper hawk grabs. Get over here and made into scrambled, I think. And then dropped on this Gormorillus to feed this mana pool, which is powering a Tangleberry to keep all the cows in this area. A Polydesiac to provide the, to make them breed when there's wheat provided. I current the iron droppers are currently empty, I need to refill them. And then a dreadthorn that will kill the cows when I ha feel like I need to kill them. Hopper Hawk collects the leather and the meat. Uh, the Dreadthorn is currently redstone powered and it's inactive right now because I don't have that many cows just at the moment. Again, I need to re put more wheat into the droppers. Over here, I have a dark room that I'm using to just spawn things to fight because I need to get demonic will for blood magic. Down here is my actual main machine room these days. I love these immersive engineering metal presses. They're so handy. This is just assorted manual machinery that I need for projects. Uh, the double crusher and the powered furnace are hooked up to each other. The sag mill and the alloy smelter are not. I don't remember why I needed an extra utilities crusher. It probably had a different recipe from the others. Or possibly I just didn't feel like turning off the double crusher being connected to the powered furnace. Whatever. This resources, basic storage, assorted storage for other things, the empowerer, the atomic reconstructor, which I'm going to change how it works slightly because I saw a better way on someone's LP. This auto produces my resources. I've got a cobble gin downstairs that's pumping in cobble that is either broke, that is broken into gravel. Gravel either goes over here to be sifted or goes up, broken into sand, which either goes over here to be sifted or goes up to be broken into dust and over here to be sifted auto compressors to assemble all this stuff into things that can be thrown into an oven and damn I've been letting that go once they're cooked they go back around here and into the drawers downstairs the aforementioned cobble generator it's not only providing cobble upstairs, it's also providing cobble over here to the crucibles so that I will have a lava to continue feeding my heat, my heat collectors because they will periodically eat blocks of lava. I also have phantom faces hooked up to the uh, the, sieve, the sifters so that they can so that certain items are taken out of them and thrown elsewhere rather than sent into the compressor. Unfortunately, I don't have quite enough room with basic a basic item filter for everything I need for gravel. And I can't make a Z-Logic controller just yet. 
because this license place needs Elementium, and you may have noticed I don't have a uh, portal to Alfheim yet. Analog crafters, I need to put some more iron in here, but they're providing the iron meshes via the phantom faces to keep the sifters running. Let's see, over here, the completely different power system that's running this side of the room. Let's see, oh, I've also got some fire generators making GP for purposes. And I've got some water wheels running. God, setting this up was a pain. Like, setting off water wheels in general is a bit of a pain. I much prefer windmills when it comes right down to it, but undersea is a terrible place for windmills. I'm not even going to deal with this right now. I just do not feel like it. See, I'm also producing canola for the purposes of keeping this filled. It's generally not a problem. For the most part, the water wheels can keep up with my energy usage in this area of the base. I'm also using the energy laser relay to power something else, which we'll get to in a, moment, in a bit. Let's see, over here is some of my bigger stuff. Coke oven, and I, boy, do I have a lot of creosote oil. I really need to figure out something to do with it. Improved blast furnace, smeltery, another cob why another cobble gin. This one is also making lava. The lava is being used to produce obsidian and netherrack. Over here, automated soul sand production, cobble gin gets crushed in the crusher into sand, then gets pumped into these barrels when they are full of witch water. Reservoir over here providing water to be turned into witch water. And a drawer over here collecting the soul sand. It's currently all turned off because uh, the drawer is full. So there's really no point in having it running. Tinker's construct tables. Down here is my diesel generator and all the setup to make it run. Growing wheat and potatoes. Squeezing, fermenting, mixing, and then it feeds biodiesel into here whenever the power gets sufficiently low. I love the power monitor. I wish there were more mods with something like this. Oh, and fluid, fluid tanks to hold on to fluids. Anyways, this is powering a decent chunk of my base, actually. Uh, everything in here, all the stuff in the kitchen area and in the crusher room, and all the stuff and the forestry farm down here. It's the first forestry farm is currently completely inactive because I am full of wood. I have so much wood here. I need to do something so it will continue running itself, but I also don't feel like doing that. Possibly I'll have it set up to turn this into charcoal to feed some endo flames. We'll see. I'm going to have my bees and my reactor in this area, not in the same room, but in the area, but I haven't gotten around to building that stuff yet. Let's see, back upstairs, back over here, I have a not very good monster spawner. I'm working on improving it, but it's been low on my priorities compared to getting that portal to Alfheim set up and getting Botania in a better in a better place. But I'm using a lens of the killer, which is fun. Ah, don't take off the lens of the killer. But it's not very good at spawning. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to improve it. But I have lights, so it makes me happy. And I'm using the energy laser relays to power this. I would use these more around my base, except the lasers shooting around everywhere just... They distract me visually. I am working on building a room that I can kill the wither in. Uh, downstairs. 
As mentioned, I'm going to be moving Botania to its own dome. I just finished building the dome recently and filling it up with, excuse me, wool. I need to finish removing all of the wool and finish placing dirt on the floor and, you know, seed it with grass and all that good stuff, and then move the Botania stuff out here. But hey, it exists. This is better than I was doing, like, a couple months ago. Over here, I have a, root, a dome for my roots, my roots-related stuff. It's a smaller dome than the Botania dome. Also, I want to make some lights for up there because it's just kind of disturbing to me. I don't know why. Ah, nice little mod. Looks cool. It's a bit more combat-oriented than I need out of my magic mods, but that's just a personal thing. Okay, I've got both a Ring of Water Breathing in my hand and a Ring of Cordata on my baubles, so I have a lot of night vision when I go swimming. Okay, here's what the dome looks like from the outside. I plan to replace that uh, cobble in the entrance hall-ish area with Prismarine in the future. And here's the Botania Dome. And here's the base. See, questing wise, almost everything in the first chapter except going to the end. A lot of the tech stuff. All of the totemic stuff, which isn't much. A decent chunk of Batania. A decent chunk of roots. Very little of the blood magic, all things considered. I kind of have this problem with these packs where I'm in complete control of the territory, such as Skyblocks or this Under the Sea pack, that I don't generally have a lot of monsters spawn because I light everything up, so I, can't, I, I have a hard time collecting Demonic Will, which is another reason I want to improve the monster spawner I have upstairs. The forestry stuff is actually very simple. All done. And these are the hoarding quests. Right now, I've only got a couple of them active. I'll be looking into the rest of them later. But like I said, I've been getting prepped to work on this. This is just letting bees run forever. And some of the bee stuff I've been preparing for has been to produce things like copper, silver, gold, so that I don't have to rely entirely on my sifting for these wires. Okay, well, that's everything. Have a good one. Catch you later.